What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority. And for today we're going to put to the test Jet Boil Genesis Base Camp system. So I'm really having high expectation for this one as well. You open it up like this and boom. Wow, look, it comes in a pot. Can you believe this? I guess this is plastic piece that is protects your pot. So when you want to transport it, I'm going to keep it in there actually. And what is that? Fill regulator. Awesome. Right away, I'm going to get the fill regulator and get rid of the box. Nice. That looks beautiful. I don't need the box. I can just keep this thing in a bag for the next time. Okay, let's see what's inside of this jet boil pack. Or pot, I mean. There you go, there's a bunch of instructions. Oh wow, look at that. Wow, so sleek. Look at that design. And there's paper. There's a bunch of warning stuff. We're just gonna unclip it or just leave it be. So how does this open? Boom, like that, and something else is holding it, like this. Wow, check this out. This is like an oven at home. It's so big, but it's so compact when you put it together. That's so beautiful. Look how tiny that is. And then once you unfold it, it's like doubles in size. Insane. Okay, let me put the fill regulator in first. Check it out, right here, that's how you start it, I guess. The fill regulator is going to go in here. Pop it in and screw it on. And then we'll need one of these propane tanks. It holds a lot of gas. Right here, this is how you adjust the gas and start it. Let me take this paper out before we start the fire. And I see the spark. All right, this one is on. Check this out. I guess you really have to turn it on. There you go, this one is on now. Let's see how long it will take to boil water this whole pot. Oh wow, look, it actually comes with a pan as well. So we're gonna cook eggs on one side and boil water on the other side. I'm actually going to time it, see how long will it take for me to boil this whole pot of water. I love this cover, by the way. So that way we're not wasting the other cover. That way it can be like a pen. So just turn this one on and click it on. I'm gonna cook some egg on this one. Get some oil, drop this pan on top there, heat it up a little bit and then we're gonna crop a couple eggs. Looking good so far. We gotta camp in any weather, we don't care. Check this out, 10 minutes, look how heavily it's boiling. Probably not even 10 minutes. This stove is so powerful, I can't believe it. This propane tanks last a while as well, they're pretty big. Okay, let's try to put it away, see what it looks like. Boom. Cowl goes back on top like this, jet boil. Another lid goes on top like this, folds. We got to drop it inside there. Boom. Heat regulator gonna go inside here. Easy. What's up guys? For today's video I found another unique home and camp stove. This is a collapsible one, uses one of those cans for gas. Instead of buying one of those big boxes, gas grills this one is collapsible so you i guess open it up somehow like this and then on this end there's a little notch you push it to and flip it all the way out and all the way around like that boom then we're going to grab the gas put it in here how do we lock it in and then right here, comes out, locks in. Ooh, 
no that's it one two three like a little tripod for the big pots as you can see how do we plug this in i guess it just push in usually you get one of those oven it something pushes in and holds it i guess you just push it in and that's it okay let me flip it over so that way i see what's happening close this for now and this is one and two and three wow okay we need to why did the gas stop for some reason it came off that's what i was talking about you don't want this thing to come off how cool is that just spin it this way it's all the way flame wow looks like a big turbine over here less flame oops oops what happening sometimes this thing falls out this is what i'm talking about usually you want to have a clam something holds it together i don't know why it did not come with one but oh well it is what it is okay and now it's way bigger flame once it's connected properly there you go and adjusting a lot better it's almost like a little vertex of the flame so awesome okay and now adjusting way better you can put it on low simmer or on max beautiful okay i've seen enough let's put it away burns a really really well this thing hopefully not too hot good it's not so now open this take this out i guess i should turn the lights on obviously let it cool off for a minute find that notch on the bottom over there push it in so that way we can flip it all the way over this side here should yep like in like that and i don't even have to touch the hot part amazing got it here really skinny portable gas stove definitely have not seen one like that let's unbox it usually these things are really really bulky as you know this one is completely skinny like a pancake or a crepe please remove this sticker okay okay this thing comes out very nice so that way you can put it i guess in the washing machine clean it up and then you can clean up inside here wow usually this stuff does not take apart from the other things and looks like you have right here a regular uh, stove holder okay how do we lock it in oh wow it's a grab zone so you don't even have to have something that is pushing it up as you can see you just hold it like that push it in and it's gonna hold it that's it and then there's a heat protection and let's turn it on see what it's going to look like a little bit windy right now and look it's burning really good okay i got it here really big pot wow fits so well check this out it almost like locks in in here look at that so probably could do even bigger part it will just stand on those four things okay let's see how it burns in the dark yeah really really heavy flame you can lower it very high and it lights up every time so that's nice very high quality stuff and at the same time really skinny love it so this is a mini stove with this legs right here whenever you put this in you slide it into this hook and then oh doesn't it really stick into this hook maybe i put it in oh okay and then i twist it and then i push it in like that maybe there you go that's how it works and then you lock it in so this one more time legs opens up for a bigger pot then you can close them for a smaller cup or pot so we're gonna open them for the teapot okay there's a starter right here 
Okay, and now let's turn it on and start it. One teapot. Let's boil water with this thing. Finally, I'm so glad I didn't give up on this thing. So, seems to be working just fine. A mini camping stove where you can put a big pot on it. Okay, let's wait. The only thing is, I'm worried if this thing will get overheated or not because the flame is almost touching it and you don't have this heat protector for this thing. Anyways, let's boil water, see what happens. I warm to the touch, but nothing really heat up at all. So I think it's pretty safe. Okay, let's see if it's boiling. And we got a full boil of full pot of water. Very nice. I'll take this off so you guys can see. There's still plenty of flame going off. Very unique mini stove. You can blast it even more. I didn't even blast it that high. So let's turn it off. This is pretty warm to the touch. So if you're cooking longer, it might be very, very hot to the touch also. And then close it, boom. I really like this stove because it's lightweight, small, versus getting yourself this one of those box stove. You can get one of this, pretty cool. Got it here, pretty unique folding gas stuff right here. Let's see what's all about. Usually these things are really, really big. Wow, it comes in the case. Nice. Oh wow. Quite a big, quite a bit bigger than I thought. I have seen a much, much smaller one by Snow Peak. I have put to the test a while back, maybe like eight months ago. So let's open it up, see how it works. Oh wow, look at that. I'm just guessing right now, what am I supposed to do? So this is, oh, okay, cool. Very, very simple. So this is how it folds. There's your gas adjustment. Fold this way, close it. Nice. And this, wow, look at that. It's like a transformer. Look at that. So awesome. Okay, let's put some gas in and try to boil water, see how efficient it is. So you'll have to have this kind of butane, or whatever they called. And it plugs in really well, nice. Close it and let me turn it for you guys. Let's press on and off. Okay, it sparks. There you go. Took a while to start it up. By the way, plastic table, I think it'll be okay. We'll also put to the test how much heat does it push on the floor. Uh, should be okay, but this is super cool. Look, I got smaller pot. You can use a much, much, much bigger pot. As you can see, this is pretty standard. So now let's wait, see how fast it's going to boil. I'll put it on max. Wow, this is beautiful. Versus having those flat burners like that, no way you can take it camping. This is way smaller. But again, Snow Peak, the brand, I have seen even smaller than this. A little bit different, but you know, this one is beautiful too. I love all of the camping gadgets. Okay, let's see if it's boiling. Oh yeah, check this out. Full boil, nice. Tip up like that, I think it Boiled it in about five to seven minutes. Very nice. Was it safe? Oh yeah. The table is quite hot, so maybe have some kind of more sturdy table or have some kind of fireproof mat because it's pretty hot. But I don't see it uh, melting the table unless I would be cooking longer. So now we need to put it away without burning ourselves. Of course, you want to cool it off first of all because yeah, all this will be very very hot. But before then, I'll just remove the propane, butane fuel actually, and let's see. It's quite hard actually. There's a rubber piece down here. I could close it with, looks like. And the whole thing spins and let's see. Wow, very cool. Just make sure you let it cool off. Boom. And then you can put it in the case in case you have an RV or whatever. That way 
you're not going to beat it up. It doesn't go sideways. It should have instruction that you just place this thing right here. And that's it. Make sure you place it pretty tight. Like that. Nice and steady. Then you close this and lock it. They go, then you go like that. I was like, how is it supposed to go? That's actually very simple. Anyways, I love pretty unique foldable, transformable camping stove or any kind of gadgets. And this is definitely meets my criteria. There is a burn for you for those people who is interested. Pretty cool gadget right here.